Hello friends. So today we're gonna to discuss this question from Swords named Bitcount. So it's the same question as you have to count the number of number of set bits in any number. So there are three test cases and you have to find the number of set bits in the binary representation of this number. Okay, so there are two ways to find set bits. The first way is you can iterate over every bit 32 bits and you can find out whether a bit is set or not. Second way is you can and it with n minus 1 and you can find it out. So what, what we can do is like just take an example of 5. So let's take an example of 5. So this is 5 and then what is 5 minus 1? 4. So 4 is this. So if we do a binary representation of both this and do an and operation. So this get cancelled, this get cancelled and what we are left is it with 4 then we do and of 4 with 4 minus 1 which is 3 so what is 3 and uh, it turns out to be 0 because everything gets cancelled out so as you can see this happens two times so why iterating and the original 5 has two set bits so in this method we will iterate and find out in just two steps how many set bits are there but in the original method we have to go through every 32 bit and then find out so this this is a very straightforward and simple way uh, it's way it's come relatively fast in compared to that method but both are taking very less time to compute how many number of bits are set so we can take another example and find out like just take uh, this is 12 then what is 11 11 is 1 0 1 1 so if we do an and operation only this is remained everything get cancelled and then we will this is actually 8 and then what is 7 7 is 0 1 1 1 so this is again get cancelled and uh, yeah again only zeros are left so as you can see we are treating over the number of set bits in any representation so let's do this some coding so in this we first have to take input of the number of test cases And then after taking the input of test cases, we have to iterate over it and take the input of the number of the number which we have to find out. Then we will do a while loop over n. It means that this means that we are while looping till this number is non-zero because if it becomes zero, it will come out of the loop. And what we'll do is we will store the number of count bits in val and uh, we will do n and operation with n minus 1 and we will increase the value of val and uh, after doing this when we come out of the loop we will print the value of val that's it this is a very simple code uh, let's try to run it Uh, it's uh, so if you have any doubts, please mention doubt. Uh, this is a very simple, straightforward question. One, two, one, zero, three. Yeah. So let's paste it. I think so. The question doesn't have any errors, it, it will give an AC. Uh, there are two methods you can also iterate over every bit and find out what the, what the number of set bits that is also very simple yeah the question accepted so if you have any doubts please mention down in the comment box i will if you want i can make the video on that method also
so thank you for watching this video uh, please hit the like button if you like it and you can also subscribe it uh, thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time